Bombs Tag Channel here, and today I'm doing a video about T-Mobile. So I'm on the Verts.com here. So if you guys want to talk about this article, a link will be down below. So uh, basically, T-Mobile has begun the 3D shutdown of the Sprint network. So if you guys are using like a Sprint 3G phone, you guys phone will begin to be cut off. Uh, this is supposed to happen on uh, March 31st. That's when it's supposed to start. It's March 31st. Um, so, yeah, if you guys could have a old Sprint phone or whatever, you guys will need to upgrade to a 5G phone. So, um, yeah, so it says that T-Mobile began shutdown of Sprint 3G network to be completed no later than May 31st. Okay. So, when this video goes live on YouTube, it will be March 31st when this video is live on YouTube. So, that's when the Sprint 3G shutdown will begin this March 31st. So, uh, yeah, says here, um, says here, underneath the title, it says here, earlier reports suggest that the shutdown would be further delay, but it's been confirmed that that's not the case. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, shutdown is still being happening on March 31st, that's when they're going to start doing it, it's March 31st. Which is the date? Uh, which is the date of this video? So uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and check this out. And I suggest you guys uh, check the link below and all that good stuff. So it says here, T-Mobile said Wednesday that it shut down the Sprint Strategy Network is proceeding as planned, beginning on March 31st. As part of the shutdown process, the company said in a statement, email to the Verge that. It will migrate customers over the next 60 days, so from May 30, from March 31st to May 31st, to ensure they are supported and not left with that connectivity, and the network will be completely turned off by no later than May 31st. So you guys will still have some time to upgrade to a 5G phone, which I suggest you guys do that now. Don't wait until your shit's cut off, because if you guys wait till your shit's cut off, then you guys are not gonna have no phone service. I suggest you guys upgrade to a 5G phone as soon as possible. Y'all guys should have already been planning on doing that anyway. Y'all guys knew that this all shutdown date was coming. Y'all knew it was coming. It's not like this is a brand new. This is not like this is a brand new thing. It's, this has been coming since the Sprint Team of Merger back in uh, 2020. So this has been planned for like a year and a half now since the merger. So y'all guys knew that this day was coming. So. It's your fault and it's your dumbass if you get your phone cut off because you did not upgrade your phone like you were supposed to. That's your dumbass. So let's go ahead and continue. It says early reports suggested that the actual shutdown date was being pushed to May 31st. That is what I thought too when I first saw it. I thought that the um, the shutdown date had been uh, postponed to May 31st, but that's apparently not the case here, which would have been the second delay originally. T-Mobile was going to phase out the network in January, but said in October that it would extend the deadline to March 31st, which is the date of this video. So when you were waiting after this video, it's March 31st. So, um, says her as one of the conditions of the T-Mobile Sprint merger, which closed in 2020, just acquired Boost Mobile in July of 2020 with the goal of just taking Sprint's place as the fourth wireless carrier in the U.S. At the T-Mobile announced it planned to shut down Sprint's CDMA network. The two companies are engaged in some back and forth criticisms of each other. Just Chairman Charlie Ergen compared T-Mobile to the Grants T Mobile CEO Mike Sievert wrote in a blog post that this was dragging the was dragging their feet in getting their customers upgraded to the superior 4G 5G world. End quote. <sighs> Says at stake and at stake is the impact the shutdown will have on it on this is Boost Mobile customers. I uh, say, so if you guys have Boost Mobile, you guys, if you guys have Boost Mobile, and you guys are using like a CDMA 
Beast Mode fan or whatever. If you guys, you know, use a CD May fan or whatever that it was operated on, on the Sprint Network, um, you guys will, will have that bitch your friend. Y'all guys have probably been getting text messages and emails about it. I'm sure y'all guys been getting probably phone calls too from Beast Mode telling you to upgrade your phone. So, yeah. <coughs> I know, I know that that shit can be annoying, but they, but they're trying to get everybody on the new network on Beast Mobile. So, yeah, where my ass says the Department of Justice told this network and T-Mobile in a July 2021 letter that it had grave concerns about the shutdown of Spence Legacy Network and urged the companies to take all appropriate steps to reduce the effect on customers who rely on the network. When they announced the delay at the end of March, when it delay when it announced the delay to the end of March, which is March 31st in this case, T-Mobile released a statement saying its partners had not followed through on their responsibility to help their customers through this shift and that it was stepping up on the customer's behalf. That appeared to be a thinly veiled reference to this network, who's the executive vice president of external legislative affairs, Jeff Blom told the Verge at the time that COVID related issues and supply chain shortages had slow down the customer's upgrades. He said that March he said the March de- he said the March delay was an a- acknowledgement by T Mobile that this sh- that shutting down the City Main network could have a negative impact on customers who rely on it of course so Yeah, you know, you do have to eventually upgrade your phones and shit, obviously you don't wanna you use the same phone forever and ever because it's not going to work forever and ever. There's also an update as of 2.33 p.m. On, uh, on March 30th. It says here, clarifies that the shutdown will begin March 31st and be turned off completely by May 31st. So the shutdown will is happening starting March 31st. Not everyone's friends will get cut off tomorrow. Not everyone's friends will get cut off all on one day it's not it's not gonna happen like that what they're gonna do is gradually cut people's phones off which you should have been upgraded to a new phone anyway because you knew y- y'all knew that this shit was coming y'all knew since the merger that this day was eventually coming because spin 3g sucks ass tell you guys that right now spin 3g sucks ass it sucks ass and so 3G is an old technology. 3G is pretty much dead now. Uh, AT&T shut down their uh, 3G network. And I think Verizon is in the process of doing that. If they haven't already shut it down already. And now T-Mobile is trying to shut down. And T-Mobile is shutting down Sprint's 3G network of course. Because like I said 3G is an old technology. It's very old. It's very slow. And y'all guys, have that, y'all guys need to have. Faster internet and newer technology and newer devices. You guys have to be on the 5G network. Um, you guys need to get a new phone, which I know it's an uh, inconvenience for some people. Um, but yeah. So yeah, like at first when the when this was reported on uh, Wednesday or whatever, it was first reported that the delay had been uh, pushed back to May 31st. But however, that is not the case. The shutdown date is being is being processed, is being proceeded as planned, which is March 31st, which is the date, uh, 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 which is the date of this video here that you guys are seeing in it. Uh, so if you guys are watching this video on March 31st, you guys' friends might be off, might be, might not be off. It may, it may, it may or may not be off. So I suggest you guys upgrade to a new phone. This is basically only uh. FX Sprint and Boost Mobile customers basically. If you guys are using Sprint 3G network, if you guys are using uh, a Sprint phone or a Boost Mobile phone that uses Sprint CDMA network, you guys need to uh, upgrade to a new phone ASAP. Uh, Boost Mobile is uh, 
giving away a free phone when you guys upgrade to the new 5G network on Boost, which is really cool. It's not bad for a free phone, and it's not the um, it's not like the it's not like a Galaxy or an iPhone, but it's better than nothing. It's probably better than what you guys are already rocking with right now. Um, so yeah, yeah, you guys need to upgrade your phones, get it, get a new SIM card, stuff like that. So yeah, I think if, they, if you're a current Beast Mobile customer, you'll be upgraded to the T-Mobile network. Cause I think the T-Mobile, the the uh, I think the AT&T network for Beast Mobile is for new customers as of right now. Uh, if you're if you're an existing customer, you'll be upgraded to to the T-Mobile network, I believe. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So the shutdown date has been is the shutdown date is is being planned as being is being preceded as planned which is March 31st so not everyone's friends will get cut off all at one time and that's that is not going to happen but you guys know that this you guys knew that this date was coming you guys knew that this date was coming since the merger you guys knew that the shutdown date was coming for the spent 3G network you guys knew that if you guys did not know that the uh, sprint was getting this and uh, you guys did not know about the 3D shut the 3, the 3D shutdown, y'all guys are stupid. Cause y'all guys had y'all guys have had plenty of time to upgrade your phones. You guys have haven't already upgraded already. I'm sure most of you guys on Boost Mobile right now are getting calls, text messages, and emails about the 3D shutdown. So you guys need to act fast and don't get left behind. Cause if you do, that's your dumbass and that's your problem, not mine. So. Yeah, I'll upgrade your phone on Boost Mobile. Uh, you guys might have to change your plan too, so do keep that in mind as well. And the new plans that Boost Mobile has right now, they suck ass. So I would advisedly be cautioned about that, because the Boost Mobile plans that they have right now, they suck. Even their uh, carrier crusher plans suck ass, and their regular Boost Mobile plans suck ass as well. So yeah, just check out the plans and see what plans right for you. Um, like I said, if you guys watch this video on March 8th, you guys' friends might still be working. Might still be working. So, do keep it in mind. So, don't freak out. Um, you know, don't freak out uh, on March 8th, saying, oh, my friend was just to cut off, but it's not. They're doing it in phases, so not everyone's friends will get cut off at one time, which, which actually makes sense. So, people don't freak out, but... You guys shouldn't panic anyway because you guys had plenty of time to upgrade to the new network on Boost Mobile and stuff like that. So you guys had plenty of time. So if you're using a Sprint CDMA phone or a Boost Mobile CDMA phone, you guys are affected by this change. T-Mobile customers and Metro customers are not affected by this. So yeah, if you're a Sprint customer or a Boost Mobile customer, you are affected by this. So um, yeah. <coughs> Um, if you guys have upgraded to the new uh, network on Beast Mobile, y'all guys are fine. You guys don't have to do anything. Uh, so that's good. If you guys are waiting, if you guys are just waiting till the last minute to upgrade to the to the new network and sit on Beast Mobile, you're a fucking idiot. Cause your shit's gonna get cut off, and you didn't, and you don't know when your shit's gonna get cut off. You just don't know. So like, it's not like not like that. They're gonna text you and say, "Oh, your friend's gonna be off on April second or whatever." Just don't know when your friends will get cut off and don't know what time or nothing like that. So, if you guys have not upgraded to the new network on Beast Mobile, I, su I suggest you guys upgrade. Except, don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait till your friend gets cut off because that's your dumbass if you do. So, upgrade to the new network on Boost Mobile. You guys will have to get a new plan possibly on Boost Mobile, which I'm pretty sure that you guys will have to get a new plan on Boost Mobile. And, like I said, that the Boost Mobile plans right now, they suck ass. Their carrier crusher plans suck ass, and their regular plans suck ass as well. If I was you, I would stay away from Boost Mobile. I'd stay away from it. But uh, but good news is that the, the good news is that, that y'all guys do get a free phone when you guys upgrade to the, to the new network. I think it's a uh, Moto G Stylus or a Galaxy A13 5G for Boost Mobile when you upgrade to the new network, which is a pretty good deal there. Pretty good spec phones there. Uh, very nice looking phones. The Galaxy A13 5G is a nice looking phone. Has pretty good specs on it. So is the Moto G Stylus 5G. Pretty good specs. And 
Yeah, so you're not getting no uh, when you guys upgrade to the new now. Y'all guys are not getting no no cheap ass phone. Dude, y'all guys are getting decent phones here. So, uh, yeah. So if you have, like I said, if you have already upgraded to the new network on Boost Mobile, you're fine. You don't have to take no action. However, if you guys are one of those people that are waiting till your phone completely cuts off, that's what you have to, that's on you and you're a dumbass. And that's your fault if your friend gets cut off because you not y'all know that this date has been coming since the merger. So that's on you if your friend gets cut off. That's on you. That's not my problem. That's that's your problem. So, um, yeah. So when you guys see this video on March 31st, the Sprint 3D shutdown has been has 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 begun <coughs> has begun. So yeah, it's supposed to be completed no later than May 31st. So. Yeah, so there's not really a a delay of some sort, not really. They're just giving you a two a two month window, so yeah, so the the sprint the 3D shutdown should be completed by May thirty first. So uh yeah, upgrade your phone on Boost Mobile and you guys will not get left behind. So uh yeah, this this is probably a long ass video anyway, which very uh, well. So uh yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If it if has me out a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. I thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.